And and so why does the serpent tempt Eve? Well, because she, you see, the Divine Mother is she who has descended into and enlightens the lower consciousness. That's why the female is always accused of being the temptress, the, the dark one. Because indeed, the Divine Mother is the one who is dwelling in the dark side of matter, always illuminating the consciousness of human beings. She is wisdom herself. She is Sophia. So she has chosen to descend with her children into uh, a state of exile, away from the light. And so it is she who, um, understanding the meaning of the serpent's purpose in the earth, the serpent is actually a guide. The serpent, you see, in, 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 the, in the symbol of the caduceus, we have, we have two streams of thought. You have a negative stream moving downwards and a positive stream moving upwards, and they're intertwined with each other. And so one is descent, the other is ascent. And then they culminate in the form of the caduceus or the serpent of wisdom, of divine wisdom, of healing. And so the symbol of the serpent drawing the mind of Eve down is the symbol of the divine mother herself saying, yes, O mind of Adam, come down, come down, come down, descend into a state of self-realization. Because if you do not learn who you are, you will remain always um, a stranger from the div divine light. So the serpent draws the mind spiraling down into a state of, of collective and individual self-consciousness, self-awareness, self-realization. Well, just by the gravitational effects of our own existence, you know, kind of, we, we live in a body that has a gravitational uh, field that's attracted to the earth, and, um, and it's this gravitational field that keeps us always constant aware of ourself. We're always aware of our own physical necessities, our own um, uh, primal drives, uh, sexuality, um, hunger, thirst. And so when we don't bring these drives under control, and that's what self-realization allows us to do, then these drives become the predominant force that rules over us. And um, we see that's what's happened. That's why we've come to the end of Kali Yuga. The, the, the predominant primal drives of man are ruling the planet. And, uh, but it, again, this is all the uh, the plan of God so that we could see what that looks like so that we could know what a world serving the serpent the serpentine nature um, appears like when it comes to its perfection but the serpent who also drew us down will also reveal itself and that's what it's doing in the form of Leviathan once you see it now you see the serpent is saying okay now follow me and the serpent is our guide meant to Christ consciousness. And that's why Moses illustrates the mystery of Christ to the children of Israel when they were being bitten by the serpents in the wilderness as a form of a serpent on a cross. And that's why he said, you know, that's why the serpent who is Christ is elevated above us and it says that whoever will look up, in other words, whoever will cast their gaze from the lower earth to the higher heavens will be uh, transformed. So the serpent's job is to bring us down, and it's also the serpent in the form of the Christ mystery, which brings us back up again.